Hey there, beautiful one. There is a language to your love that I want you to become more familiar with. Okay, the, a language to your love that you can become more familiar with. And this language is found in a framework, it's found in proper order, and it is found in a system that will sustain you. So you should be like, okay, tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> All right, this system that sustains you is a instruction that is found in a woven woman system. So if you are a woman who desires to have her love to be recentered, her love to be healed, her love to have some meat on its bones and some divine power working within it and not just throwing a love bone and using language of love and demonstrations of love without a framework in order to love, then keep listening. Because God has something in store for you that will allow all of your love wounds to become um, integrated into a system that will take your wounds and wash you thoroughly. Take your, your perspective of love, your barriers against love, your triggers for this being Valentine's Day and reposition you into a way to where you are restored. OK, to where you have a stitch of of true love integrated and embedded within you as a woman. And it flows and it shows in how you show up and what you stand for. OK, so this is a principle that you need to align your love life in. And it's found in God's word. So it's biblical, okay? You might have heard this verse before, but it says to love God with your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love others as you love yourself. So the key word woven into this verse is the word love. But the steps, the order of this verse indicates to you and provides for you a framework for the order of love. And how it should be demonstrated, embraced, and received, and distributed in your life. See, first, you and all your love wounds, right? You and all your love triggers, because today is Valentine's Day, or the season, or the holidays come around, or the days, period. And you're triggered because you lost love, you need love, you desire love, your love isn't as you would like it to be in your life and in your relationships. But when you bring yourself into this framework and into this woven woman system, you allow all of you and those issues, those aspects of weariness to become washed in the one who is love. And that is God. See, I just wonder. I'm going to say this in story, so be sure you come to my stories today. So I'll save time here in the video to lead you to our stories, to give my personal um, life experience with how I was positioning my love in all the wrong places because I wasn't in a woven woman system. I was functioning in a weary and worldly woman system, and my love bone got so messed up. But if that can resonate with you, that's why God gives us the proper order. So he wants us in all of the love issues or love triggers to come and learn how to love him. Be willing enough to love him with all of us. And you may be wondering, well, there's nothing left for me to give you, God. I'm washed up. I'm used up. I'm broken. And he says, that's the one that I want. <laughs> You are the one that I want because now I can show you what love is. See, God wants you to love him with all of you so that he can infiltrate every avenue of you, every interior sheet of your womanly fiber that has been wounded. See, he wants you to learn um, what love really is, the touch of love. The sound of true love, the experience of love, the, the way love communicates and what it conveys, how love is patient and how love is kind and how love keeps no record of wrong. See, he wants all of you to come into his, his deity. He wants all of you to come into his presence so that he can begin to touch your heart, your soul, your mind and your strength and begin to equip it to now experience a true unconditional love like no other. And when you tap into that, 
And when you allow yourself to say, God, I ain't going nowhere. I need a love that won't leave me tainted, torn, scarred, wounded. I need a love that washes and sustains. I need a love that's tried and true. I need a love that is that helps me be healthy and be made well. See, then he teaches you how to love yourself. Maybe you really never knew how to love yourself. And therefore, you gave yourself, all of you, to the ex people and not to God see the order was wrong and he's trying to reposition to reconstruct and redesign and heavenly adorn you in the right system this framework of order see you don't give yourself to all of them without first and primarily giving yourself to all of him so he can teach you the standards for love I already said the experience the encounter what love conveys what it embodies how it treats you Okay, and then once you are able to do that, then it says to love others, but first as you love yourself. So you don't just love others without having no self-love, no Christ's love in you. <laughs> Washing you, healing you. See, he wants to put this meat and substance on your love bone so that it has healing behind it when you go and love others. Because now you love yourself, you're patient with yourself. You're graceful with yourself. You don't keep track of your own wrongs. You, you repent, you confess, you come into God's system to where he washes and heals and trains and reroutes and reconditions. And then you allow that to overflow in how you love your spouse and how you love your kids and how you show up in relationships. I see you in our stories. Love has an order. If you don't take nothing else away from today, understand that love has an order. And in the caption is the scripture of the framework and the order that I just spoke about in this video. God bless you, beloved. Come into order so that your love can have some meat on its bones. Home girl, you shall recover in this woven woman's system.